So let's talk about Cavalier's principle. Okay, the volume of three-dimensional figures is the number of non-overlapping unit cubes of a given size that will fit exactly on the interior. So we're talking about the inside space. So you can see this pyramid or prism, and then you can see this prism. Well, they're the exact same thing, only one is slanted. We also have another word for that, oblique is another word. And Cavalier's principle says that if these two, two, two figures have the same height, so top to bottom, top to bottom, same height, and they have the same cross section, so their bases are the same size, then they have the same volume. So really a slanted one, you treat exactly like one that's straight up and down, you just have to be careful to find this height, okay? Now, let's put this to practice here. Oh, so down here you've got the formulas, the volume of the prism with a base of B, big base area B, and a height of H is volume equals B, big B times H, and then the set, a length, width, and height, right, our base area times our height, and then when it's a cube, side squared times height but they're just gonna be oblique sometimes. So that's where just Cavalier's principle is just saying the oblique ones are calculated the same way. So here's an example of one with CDs. And it's really a great example, or coins or another good way. If you stack up like, you know, you have two stacks of CDs. Let's say you have 15 in this one, and 15 in this one, and this one slants. Does the volume change? No the same volume it's just slanted so there's kind of proof of how to do that one and remember the volume is base area which in this case CDs would be pi r squared times the height so pi r squared times the height but notice on the oblique one the height is that altitude from the top corner down so okay let's put it into practice here so we're gonna find the volume of this oblique um, um, cylinder so we need to know pi r squared h, right? Pi r squared h is our formula. So our radius, what's our radius here? It's 9. So 9 squared. And what's our height? Well, that's given to us. That was really easy. 14. Sometimes that won't be given. You might be given this, and you might have to work a Pythagorean theorem to figure out your height. So always keep Pythagorean theorem in your back pocket. Okay, so let's go back and calculate. Well, we know 9 squared is 81. And then times 14, I don't know that off the top of my head. So it's 1134. So that's 1134 pi. And this is a volume, so it's inches cubed, three-dimensional. So there you go. There's our first one with an oblique. Okay, so um, find, we're going to do one without a picture. Find the volume of a cylinder that has a base area of... 121 pi centimeters squared and a height equal to twice the radius. Find the volume in terms of pi. Hmm. So if we know the base area is 121 pi, that was given to us, what would be the radius? Hmm. Well, base area of a circle is pi r squared. And that's equal to 121 pi. So let's solve for r. Well, let's divide both sides by pi, right? They will just cancel a pi off of each side since they have the same thing. So r squared is 121. So what's our radius? Our radius is square root of 121 or 11. Okay, now it says that the height is equal to twice the radius. So what's twice the radius? Well, the radius is 11, so the height must be 22. 2 times 11, or 22. So now we already have the base area, so that's, this is going to be easy now. Base area times height. Base area is 121 pi times a height of 22. So let's grab our calculators. 121 times 22. And that's 262,662 pi. Don't forget your pi. Leave your in terms of pi. And then this would be in centimeters. And it's volume, so it is cubed. Okay, so we that was a working backwards one.